This is Game of Inches. Six teams of anglers across the ice belt compete for five days for a grand prize of $6,000. Eligible species are narrowed down to seven categories of freshwater fish. The total combined length of the seven fish is their final score. Each team records their longest fish in each category. Who will take home the $6,000 at the end of day five? I'm so nervous. Game of inches, baby. Yeah. So we'll both drive over there. Is that the plan? Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to day three. We're really starting to feel it today. I guess by the end of today, we'll be after the, over the halfway point, but uh, Day three game of inches. We are currently leading somehow, some way. We haven't caught any really impressive fish yet. It's actually kind of encouraging because we have a lot of room for improvement, but everyone else has a lot of room for improvement. The weather's nasty. It's supposed to kind of storm all day today. We are gonna bring a toboggan to bring a shack because it's it's just not a day worth fishing outside. Yeah, we got a little bit of prep to do and we're a little behind schedule, but I think we might still be able to make it for opening ceremonies. That. Should have let it warm up a little more and I don't know what happened now. It must be flooded or something. Oh, this is the last thing we need is a sled issue right now. I don't know what the deal is. It must be flooded. I know nothing about engines. Five days, Five days is a lot. lot. Five days is insane. I think in our first discussions, Aaron talked about six or seven. I'm like, not a chance. Five's good, because it really pushes you. Two or three kind of, I think. Two or three is like a good weekend of fishing, a hardcore weekend of fishing. Five's kind of just a little bit of madness. Gotta let the other teams have an opportunity here. I just don't know at this point what to do with the choke. And... Yeah, like it's, it's just weird that it won't turn over quick. Like it just yeah. hasn't had a problem, even close. I just went a little, oh man, that just, I should have just let it warm up a little more. I was just, Want to get it reversed out of there ASAP, but that's never the answer. It's just a classic time. We got there. We just got to give it another few minutes. Ooh, that sounded better. Okay. I mean, I can hook up my battery pack and I can then boost it a little more aggressively. Like keep, I'll grab my battery pack. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, in an ideal world, we'd pop those spark plugs off, crank the motor with the kill switch engaged. Can you put the kill switch on? Or make sure that's engaged? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so make sure the kill switch is for sure on. Like, not gonna start, and then we just gotta keep cranking it until we get some of this gas to choke out of here. Just give me a second. I'm glad Josh is mechanical, because I ain't. <clears throat> we'll figure something out. Yeah. Like, the spark plugs, yeah, they were wet, obviously, but it sunk like gas, but it's not like there's a ton. Oh, it was just like it was running. If it wasn't running at all, I'd be like, ah, oh, whatever, it was the weather or something. But it was running. That's exactly. what kills me. I have no idea. Sorry? I have no idea. Yeah, I, no I don't either. I'm just not mechanical. Well, guys, we're, uh, we're letting you catch up. It's not even sputtering. Yeah, and in reality, it'd be really nice if one of the teams had a severe breakdown and couldn't fish for a day, but we don't, <laughs> we don't want that to happen because that's that's quite frustrating. <laughs> we do wish everyone the best. Okay, give me a pull. Okay, that one's sparking. Sparky! I mean, the other one's gonna be sparking too, I guarantee. Well, then then let's warm this sucker up. Let's yeah. pull it into the trailer and crank the heater. All right, I'll pull the rods out. I'll open the trailer. Just eating up this tire space back there. Well, we got Big Troy, the head honcho at Winoga. <laughs> and he's hopefully gonna save that. He used to be a snowmobile mechanic, I just learned, in a past life. <laughs> so don't have to revisit it too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the sled's so basic too, there's not, I mean like, there's not that much to it. And we checked, we, got, we were getting sparks, so it wasn't the kill switch. Most likely it's moisture related. You know, you, you buried the sled in the slush last night. Oh, yeah. and it start, started ran this morning and then just shut off after yeah. a few minutes of running and can't get it started. I should show you some pictures of the slush. Oh, thanks Trey. We might be trying it both ways, depending if it'll pull. Thanks nice weather outside. Sorry we're so high maintenance, Trey.
It's uh, 10 o'clock now. 10, 10, <laughs> Troy's donated his morning to us, which we're very grateful for, but uh, it ain't happening right now. We'll probably put the heater on high and just let everything warm up and who knows. We're gonna spontaneously combust. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'd be okay. You can start a hot sled. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> what do we do? I think if if we are able to use a sled, yeah, that'd be amazing. I think we'll try to warm this up in your shed. We'll bring it over to your shed. I mean, that's our best bet at it, though, because we're going to bring the heater in the tank so there won't be an extra heater and tank floating around. Yep. So let's do that. We'll go to your place and let you be free from this project that you didn't volunteer for. Do you think I can make this corner without uh, hitting the side by side? Well, we may as well just bring it over right now, eh? Being able to figure it out. <laughs> Housekeeping! Update. We are. Uh... Oh, look at my snow machine missing some parts and some pieces i am i can't thank troy enough for hosting helping and uh, just putting up with this disaster ski do if you're watching this i'd love to ride an expedition next winter um yeah that'd be my dream sled the old ski do expedition not the old fail cat 500. <laughs> i mean she looks good it does looks look good mad max with the panels off <laughs> it like looks that. it looks pretty sharp right now yeah i like that Feel free to take all my waypoints whenever. <laughs> They're all yours. Well, guys, Winoga Lodge hooked us up big time. Troy's dad let us borrow his sled. Thank you, Dick. We we might be stuck here the next couple days, but this is a pretty good place to be stuck because there's big fish of everything here. So uh, yeah, we're still gonna try to cross off that lake or make the most, try to salvage today and catch a fish. There's a lot of stuff to be frustrated with right now, but that's just part of it. Stuff, gear breaks, ice fishing, that's just part of it. I don't know what happened with my sled. It's warming up in Troy's garage, so hopefully that fixes it, but we're going fishing. are so high, so high. Yeah, I don't know, let's just let's just drill a grid and I think, let me know the depth, just drill holes, maybe go flash or an auger and I'll just come behind you and start setting tip ups. Is that okay? Yep. It is day three. We are starting to fish at four, 4.30. We got a Cisco on a quick strike rig going down. So I got 30 pound fluoro and a pretty long leader. We got Six out of seven categories filled. We need to fill the lake trail category. And then we're gonna focus on upgrading. But the thing is you lay this on the bottom, you can catch a big walleye, you can catch a big pike, you can definitely catch a big lake trout. When I'm setting that flag, I'm always thinking, where am I gonna be watching? How can I see it? Because if it cuts right towards you like that, it's a razor and I can't see it. But if it's flat, it's such a bigger object to see. We should put a, a bigger bait on, like that big uh, fluke and jig all over the water column and stuff. Yeah. It is, we don't even need the shack. Like it's, it's it got pretty nice. <laughs> on our active rod, we are using the Frostbite Dragon Slayer with the new head spin jig, super cool little prop on the end and a little piece of meat on the Mr. Big, sweet combo. Mr. Big, such a good big pike, lake trout rod for baits this size. Another one coming in. Yeah. What have we here? A little, competition that other one's bigger yeah that one might strike they're both coming to look seeing more obvious things about what's happening oh yeah look at this guy oh is he gonna kiss it off the bottom look at this guy do the old dirt slurp <laughs> the old dirt slurp <laughs> they like that. there's great fish activity here like i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling great yeah. we got two tip ups behind us one behind brando we're looking to conquer a laker would be just such a big jump right we get a 35 inch lake or we're, we're up in there we're close singing. to our target area. We're singing a song. We'll be singing all sorts of songs. Oh yeah. There's fish doing things down there. Tell you what. I don't know if those are white fish. Like those are pretty decent sized marks. I know. Maybe they're just big white fish. 
They're dancing around like a bunch of crazy animals. It could be big walleyes. Like if we got a 27 inch walleye, all of a sudden it's like, well. <laughs> That's the only oh, way. Oh, a fish chasing me down. This might be a laker. Oh. Get ready. Oh yeah, here we go. This might be it. That's a big fish. Oh, come on. Might be just Catch like up. that walleye. Oh, that no, that's yesterday. no walleye. Oh man, that's a good one. Yeah. Look at this. Oh boy, he's barreling down. He's chasing it. Look at that other one. Yeah, there's stuff going on. Dude, that was insane. I'm, I, I. It's still there. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that tail. He likes when I drop Oh yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that one up oh, high. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's, that's, that's a big a fish. That's a big fish. Oh. oh my gosh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Please, please, please. Look at this. Look how many there are. Oh, he's coming barreling for it, man. Oh, oh. my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. Here we go. That's a laker. He's so mad at that other fish. He darted away so fast. That's a nice laker. Okay, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He was so pissed at that other fish. I can't believe he didn't eat it. That's such a good sign though. I've never seen a fish turn on a dime like that. Dude, that was some of the cooler live school footage I've ever seen. Sheesh. Like so obviously a lake trout. Yeah. That's good, man. We are in the area. That makes me so happy. Yeah, these might be, like those might be white fish and he's just like messing with them, you know? Yeah, that fish was significantly bigger. Like that was a, that was a mid to high 30 inch laker. Oh, hoy, good hoy, sign though. Hoy. We're not even at prime time yet. New video from Clayton Chick Outdoors and Adam. Well, boys, the lack of no sleep is finally caught up. Lack of no sleep? On this guy. Adam is still a little bit awake, so we're going to power through this. Uh, yeah, on to the next uh, little adventure. Things aren't good for any of you guys right now, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it, hey, there's always next year. Oh, Clayton's always got something to say. He's pretty confident, that guy. He does also catch the most big fish out of all of us. <laughs> That's what I said. Exactly. No. You don't. Clayton does not make sense. <laughs> Jeez. Clayton's had a lack of <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's from Saskatchewan. Uh, don't blame the boy. He's a Riders fan. <laughs> He'll be all right. He'll grow up to be a smart boy one day. Clayton stink. <laughs> <laughs> Love that guy. Nice fella. You like Clayton? Give you the back off his shirt. What's up, the shack and the heater? Let's do it. Let's tag team it quick. Wow, how good are things way, right now? Like great, like really great. The game of inches. Day three, will they catch a fish? Will we, Josh? Day three of five. After today, it's kind of home stretch and we're not, we need to be improving every day. Is that soup almost ready? Yeah, you know what, maybe I'll make a little soup. Since the fishing's so good, turn it down a little. Can we announce in this video that Sarah's pregnant? No. We can't announce it? Josh is having another kid. I'm happy to announce it for the first time in yeah, this video. Yeah, I guess the baby will be born by the time <laughs> this comes out. That's true. Josh is all worried. I'm like, the video doesn't come out till October. Pardon me? Prime time and here we are cooking. Prime time in the kitchen, prime time on the ice. I can't wait to eat whatever you're making. You got bowls or? Yeah, big salad bowls. No, we're all eating out of one pot. Oh, are those noodles still good? Yeah, just pick them up quick. Yeah. yeah. I find it funny when people try these chopsticks to be all cool. These ones can go. These are such long noodles. This can go in Jay's cup. That looks good, man. Chili crisp for the boys. Oh, oh thank you, Josh. Don't hold the cup, because oh, the cup's... Where do I hold it? Ah, oh, it's all so hot. Wow, can you cool down a bit? Put some slush in? Thank you. What do we have here? We got... Uh, oh, we just got noodles with some broth. Cup some, of soup. Some chili oil, some bear meat in there. For the camera cheers man. to getting out on the ice today. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to me. Living my life. Living my dream. So basically we're fishing a big extended point for Lakers. We've got tip-ups in 28 is the shallowest down to 58. Nice big 
big main main leg finger. So hopefully we get a little evening flurry. It should be starting anytime. <clears throat> yep. Thank you, Josh. That was absolutely phenomenal. You're yeah, welcome. My pleasure. I have this bad feeling if we don't figure this out soon, our lead may be stripped from us. I feel like with a Laker, we can stay in the lead still. Yeah. I like at least for... I mean, we've got a lot of inches still for people to catch up. Not everybody. Like, a, yeah, the lead could be stripped for sure, but there's still a lot of teams not doing as hot. This guy might actually bite and he's kind of looking big. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, he liked, he liked what I was doing with the slashing. A little soap in the hole. I'll do the thing with the cup in the hole again, see if he comes back. Oh, we might be turning back. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep sloshing. See the trout? Keep doing it. Trout love running water. And as long as you keep them interested with the sound of a waterfall. Yep, one more. Jeez, I got two cups. No, one more. Yeah, if you can do both at once. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> it's working. He's going back. He's almost there. He's almost there. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Okay, just gotta do a little more. That's subtle. Nope, nope, you need the aggressive pour. We might have lost him. Oh, we lost him. Oh, man. That was gonna be so funny with that fish bed. <laughs> people, it was would lining... be, people would be buying tin cups. <laughs> <laughs> it was lining up like it was gonna happen. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised he didn't because he was like so aggressive on the other one. Well, this video is gonna be real fun for the viewers at home. I hope you guys are having fun. Fishing video without a fish. The clip that should play before this video is get out a board game and make sure you're having fun while you're sitting down watching this video because whatever you're doing is going to be the most fun you have while watching this video yeah because it's painful if you love fishing videos without fish this is the video for you this is real life this does go to show you though you know many of you don't get the experience to fish with bj siemens too often but sometimes it's underwhelming it's super underwhelming you normally don't see the bad days you never see the bad days and there's lots of bad days and normally i don't put them online but today I gotta put it online because it's part of the competition. Struggle's real. This is real life. Yeah, it is. I don't try to hide the bad days. It's just I don't think people are gonna want to watch them. But just hide them. <coughs> just a little tickle. I'll give you a little tickle. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you know I love that. <laughs> don't. <laughs> this is good story though. Every every good story has you know a decent start. And then there's always that crash. Huge dip. And then it comes back at the end. Like a massive dip. Yeah, and we had that dip. Just stuck in the trench still. Yeah. They want to see some struggle. And today you saw that struggle. It is prime time. Anything can happen. We got like 15 minutes yet. But the struggle bus was in uh, in our court today. What happened to my sled? Do we want to talk about it? I'm not sure what happened to my sled. Um, I started in the morning. Went to move it over to go hook up the toboggan. And it just died. And we were not able to get it going. And I don't know. Not sure what it was. We thought maybe something froze from all that slush we dealt with yesterday. And then we thought, you know, maybe it was flooded. That didn't seem to be it either. Didn't thought maybe, oh, it's not getting spark. That wasn't it either. I don't know. I got lots of questions. But Troy was awesome. I mean, he used to be a sled mechanic and he, he tried everything. So sometimes maybe just trying it out, letting it chill for a day. We'll see. Ten minutes. Like how threatening is a dinner bell? Ten minutes remaining in day three of Game of Inches. Oh, he's coming back for you. He's coming back. Goip. 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 But we need the Laker. Like it doesn't even matter about upgrading the walleye. That's the thing. Yeah. Seven forty-eight. Morale. Well, we're fishing, so that's good. Morale was a lot higher when we first got out here. I thought things were gonna happen. I'm like, there's no way we can have four lines out and not make something happen. Exactly. What time we got, Josh? 7.51. How much time we got, Josh? 7.52. The full minute. Time's up, Josh boy. That's time. Well, we gotta head back. It's the end of day three. Do a little recap at the cabin. I gotta go fishing. I can't complain. Gotta go fishing. Every day I gotta go fishing's a good day. Just had some obstacles today. That happens. I thought we'd have something. You know what? We gave it our best. Didn't put in a ton of fishing time. We've got some really good spots planned for the next couple days. It's nice to be over the hump. Yeah, the spirits are still high. Like, we're going to win this thing, no problem. We just have to catch the right fish. So, we've got our categories, for the most part, checked off. 
We need a lake trout and a little bit of an upgrade on our pike, an upgrade on our walleye, which we're gonna do. So I think the other teams are in danger. I think our lives are probably in danger, but that's okay. We're gonna hit some cool water. We're gonna catch some fish. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm really tired. So I'm gonna get a good nap in tonight. McFad signing uh, off, out, out, done. You rolling? All right. Here we go. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. End of day three, checking in. We uh, we didn't get a bite. Blanked it. So we are still at uh, 141? Uh, 141? 140, 41 inches. Yes. Things have not changed, except our moods. Yeah, moods are really good. Well, well. Oh, they're bad? <laughs> they're okay. Okay, moods we'll are We'll see if we okay. get the snowmobile working. Anyways, like guys. Hope you caught, I uh, hope you caught him. Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. You better look out because we got a new lake. We got a new zest. Have a good sleep. Night. Send it in. My nose is so red and burnt. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a cherry tomato. Once again, shout to Winoga. Shout to Enspros for the trailer that we uh, were able to stay dry and work on our sled. Thank you for Josh, Brandon. And uh, sorry there's no fish in today's video, guys. But uh, tomorrow, we're gonna try twice as hard. Turn this bus around. It could happen so fast. The thing is, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get big inches by adding a laker. It's just like we will add a laker. And we could switch lakes to catch a smaller laker if we if we absolutely needed to. Yeah. Yeah, the second we add really any laker, like a modest laker, we're back in the lead. We're at a buck seventy plus. Yeah, and in reality it'd be really nice if one of the teams had a severe breakdown and couldn't fish for a day, but we don't <laughs> we don't want that to happen. Because that's that's quite frustrating. <laughs> we do wish everyone the best.